Hey friends, Osiris here, and in today's video, we're going over the best current money farming guide that we've got available in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So friends, today we are going to go over a quick money farming guide. It is going to be one of the best uh, money farming methods that we have available to us at the moment. And it is pretty easy. You can do it pretty early on in your playthrough. So you're going to be able to do it um, when you're not too far into the game. And I do believe all the credit for this method is actually from a fellow YouTuber, Jason Plays Pokemon. So before we get into it, obviously just giving the credit out where it is due and they were the one that actually discovered this kind of little method to doing it where you want to start off at jubilee village and you want to first make your way down to the crimson mirrorlands because this is where predominantly we're going to be doing this method now you are going to need a pokemon that is strong enough to beat a level 50 uh, alpha rosarade so a fire type or just something strong that you can hit it with a flying type as well can work what you're going to want to do to speed the method up is if you've cleared this area then you're going to be able to fly to the the brava area otherwise you'll be able to fly to the diamond settlement it doesn't it isn't as quick from the diamond settlement but it is pretty quick when you go from the Brava area. It makes it a lot more efficient. So we'll head up to the Brava area now. And once you're in this area, what you want to do is just get on your weird deer, which you should have access to because of this uh, where you are to have access to this area. And you want to kind of come around this area here, come past here and come around this side and then jump off. And then ooh, we don't want to throw a Pokeball at it. You want to throw a Pokemon at it, start a battle with it. And this is what you want to do. This is what you're going to repeat. And then all you do is just, you know, we've got Fire Fang on Garchomp, so we should be able to do it even in, ooh, not in the rain. So you want an ideally one shot it. You don't need to. It just makes it way more efficient if you are one shotting it. Obviously, the rain's up at the minute. We kind of end up do one shot it anyway. And then you're going to pick up the uh, large candy and grit dust. So you're going to get a combination of different items. Now, after you've beat it, what you want to do is come back to the main camp. And then you, the method to respawn it is you're going to kind of change the day three times. So you're going to change it to midday first. And then we're going to change it to nightfall. And then we're going to change it back to morning. The other method is to leave this area and go back to Jubilife City and then come back to this area. So once you've done this, all you want to do again is head back up to the Brava area or if you're heading from the Diamond Settlement, you want to go to that area and then you just want to repeat the process again. So you want to come down past this first flame here, past this second one. You kind of want to come this way because then you avoid the Roselli that are there and then just start the battle again and kind of rinse and repeat. And if you do this over and over again, you are going to gain a lot of items which sell for a silly high amount uh, of money, especially if you get, you know, we've got uh, the Seed of Mastery, which is another one. And then we just want to fly back to the main camp again. So the Seed of Mastery and then the large uh, candy is the one and then you just come back to the tent area or you, as I say you leave so just midday then night then morning again go back rinse and repeat the interesting thing is I've actually just timed this and I've been doing this uh, for a little bit of time just to kind of gauge what the the, the timings are like because uh, part of the, the reason for doing this guide is giving you the best information now doing the tent reset three times is incredible like significantly slower than just coming back to jubilife and then going back to the area it is significantly about 15 seconds in difference you can do the other kind of process in about one minute and 15 seconds and you can do if you go to jubilife and kind of transport yourself back you can do this in this whole process in about a minute which is nuts like crazy crazy good so like just go to jubilee don't reset the tent three times it is an option if you prefer doing that but it is the slower option so just to kind of just reiterate that it is so much quicker going back to jubilee than it is and you're looking for every time you beat this rose red you're going to get the uh the, the xl candies uh or you're going to get the seeds of mastery both are worth a lot of money. So you can go back to the trader here and once you've collected them, you don't need to go back to Jubilife to kind of trade them in. You can just go down to this NPC character here, do some shopping and then click ZR 
and this is where you can sell your items that you've got so you can see that we've done this for like literally a, they've done this six times here so um 10 times in total but if we do it the 27,000 there and then that will be 12,000 so that's like 39,000 there and then with those so we'll say like 40,000 so maybe 15 minutes you can make 40,000 so that's not too bad and I think that's a really good method but this is basically it so to kind of summarize I would always make sure that you are going to Jubilife and then coming back from there to respawn the Rosa Raid now doing the tent method it is an option it keeps you in the same area but it will take significantly longer like i say the clock time for doing the tent method rather than going back to jubilife clocked in the quickest i could do it was one minute and 15 seconds and then doing it with jubilife going back to jubilife coming back to respawn the rosa raid and just flying straight up was exactly on a minute so you know if you're doing this over and over and over again that time difference is going to stack up over the the longer time period that you're doing it so you're not going to get as much uh, as many items you're not going to get as much money for doing it as you would have done the jubilife uh, village method so do that so friends hope you found this guide useful hope you have a lot of fun and use it to get a lot of money because there's a lot of really expensive items in this game and you're going to need money to kind of progress yourself further when you're in the late game and buy some really important things later on so if you have enjoyed it please leave a comment down below let me know if you find it useful what your thoughts are if you've got any other good money farming techniques that you've been using it'd be great to hear about them as well and thank you so much for tuning in if you found it useful do drop a like on the video continue consider subscribing to the channel if you like uh, this sort of content and you want to see more of it because we've got lots of uh, Legends Arceus content coming up on the channel. And with that, friends, thank you for tuning in. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all in the next one. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.